Welcome to linuxhelp.com Squid proxy server which is used widely in Unix like platform. It is mainly used for to reduce the traffic and lower the bandwidth from server to client. A squid server which stores the mostly requesting data from the client and stores that data in the form of catch. Squid can also be used for security purpose. We will see how to install and configure the squid server. For that, we will use the command m install squid y to skip the prompt. Our squid server is installing. Then we need to Configure the configuration file in the location called slash etc slash squid slash squid dot conf with this the configuration file of squid server. After opening the configuration file, um, we need to uh, allow the all HTTP request because by the default switch server denies the all HTTP accesses so first we need to allow the that access again next we will create the block list of sites which are not need to accessible so that first we will create a file called blocklist.txt in that file we will enter the all the sites we need to block example we use facebook.com and twitter.com we will save and exit then we will open the configuration file and and create some rules for our squid server In the tools, we will give three things: first, IP range, and uh, allowing sites and denying sites. For that, we use this line. ACL new list and then I SRC and then IP range then we will link the block list file we have already created so that ACL BLOK destination domain and then location path of the block list file block list dot txt colon and then we need to add a line called HTTP underscore access and then deny new list IP ranges this block list 
and will around the remaining all sites allow new list which was the IP ranges we will save and exit and then we will we are going to check the status of our script proxy server which is inactive dead we are going to start and enable our squid server by systemctl command just so that systemctl start squid and then systemctl enable squid to start the service on the boot time service is started and enabled we will again check our status of our service by the using same system ctl commands now it will be active yes it will be active and running now we will set our proxy ip address and check our server is working or not we will assign the ip address in proxy settings now we go to the browser and ping our any sites Google example for google.com it is working and then we will see the block list sites for example facebook.com our squid proxy server is working thank you for watching this video subscribe to linux help channel visit linuxhelp.com for support mail to support at linuxhelp.com